Computers, we rely on them every day, and it is nearly impossible to imagine modern life without them. Like many great inventions, the computer also has taken several centuries to develop into its modern form, and it is not a single inventor's effort, but many people and groups each has added a vital contribution. We have come a long way from the very first computer. Computers can be classified into three generations. Each generation lasted for a certain period of time, and each gave us either a new and improved computer, or an improvement to the existing computer. But first we'll start at the very beginning, with the abacus. Thousands of years ago, people needed a better way to do calculations, like addition and subtraction. So they invented the abacus as early as 3000 BC. It was an important tool for the ancient world, because it was used as one of the most primitive calculators or counting device. An abacus was a wooden rack containing rows of beads, and calculations were made by moving beads on the rack. It served as a manual calculator for merchants, and abacus is still in use today in some countries, like China Japan and Russia. Fast forward to 1642, and the abacus evolves into the first mechanical adding machine or arithmetic machine, the Pascaline. It was built by French mathematician and inventor Blaise Pascal. This first mechanical calculator was a wooden box with a series of gears and wheels, and it could only perform addition and subtraction. Also a series of windows is given on the top of the wheels to read the totals. Also in 1673, German mathematician Gottfried Leibniz, improved Pascal's invention to develop his own calculating machine, the Leibniz wheel. It was able to perform all four arithmetic operations. Then in 1822, English mathematician Charles Babbage conceptualized and began developing the difference engine. It was considered to be the first automatic computing engine that was capable of computing several sets of numbers, and making hard copies of the results. But unfortunately, due to lack of funding Babbage was never able to complete, a full-scale functional version of this machine. Later in 1837, Charles Babbage proposed the first general mechanical computer, the analytical engine. The analytical engine contained an arithmetic logic unit, basic flow control, integrated memory, and is the first general purpose computer concept. It could carry out calculations under the control of punched cards, and because of funding issues, Babbage was never able to build this computer as well. Charles Babbage is known as the father of the computer with the design of his mechanical calculating engines. Ada Lovelace was an English mathematician and writer, chiefly known for her work on Charles Babbage's machine. She was the first to recognize that the machine had applications beyond pure calculation, and created the first algorithm intended to be carried out by such a machine. She also outlined many fundamentals of programming, such as data analysis, looping and memory addressing. As a result, Ada Lovelace is considered the world's first computer programmer. With inspiration from Babbage, American inventor Herman Hall Erith, developed an electromechanical tabulating machine in 1890. It was based on punch cards and could tabulate statistics and record, or sort data or information. This machine was used in the 1890 US Census, and it was able to collect and count data more rapidly and accurately, than manual processes had allowed in the past. Hollerith's tabulator became so successful that he started his own company to market the device, and this company later became International Business Machine or IBM in 1924. In 1936, English mathematician Alan Turing, developed an idea for the Turing machine, and it became the foundation for theories about computing and computers. The machine was a device that printed symbols on paper tape in a manner, that emulated a person following a series of logical instructions. Up to this point, machines were only able to do certain tasks that the hardware was designed for. The concept of the modern computer is largely based on two ringies ideas, and without these fundamentals we wouldn't have the computers we use today. Also in 1936 to 1938, German engineer Konrad Zuss, developed and built the first electromechanical binary programmable computer, and really the first functional computer. In 1942 with the computer, 
the Z4, ZIS also released the world's first commercial computer. From 1937 to 1944, American physicist Howard Aiken in collaboration with IBM, developed the Harvard Mark I calculating machine, that could perform calculations involving large numbers. This 5-ton device contained nearly 1 million separate pieces, also had over 500 miles of wiring and was used to make ballistics calculations during World War II. The first generation computers were based on vacuum tubes and the technology was fully digital. The vacuum tubes were like electric bulbs, produced a lot of heat and the installations used to fuse frequently. These machines were large in size and expensive to operate. Beginning in 1937 and completing in 1942, the first digital computer was built by American physicist and inventor John Atanasoff and his graduate student Clifford Berry, and the computer was named the Atanasoff Berry Computer or the ABC. The ABC weighed over 700 pounds and used vacuum tubes. The Colossus was the first electric programmable computer, and was developed in 1943 by English engineer Tommy Flowers. This computer was fully digital as well but unlike the ABC the Colossus was fully programmable. The Colossus was created to help the British code breakers to break German crypto codes during World War II. Completing the construction in 1946, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer or ENIAC, was built at the University of Pennsylvania to do ballistics calculations, for the United States military during World War II. The ENIAC is considered the first successful high-speed electronic digital computer. It was composed of nearly 18,000 vacuum tubes, weighed almost 30 tons and covered 1,500 square feet of floor space, which was large enough to fill an entire room. ENIAC was a giant, faster than any previous computer and somewhat programmable, but need to rewire every time the instruction set had to be changed. Hungarian-American mathematician John von Neumann, assisted in the design of the ENIAC successor, the Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, or the EDVAC, in 1952. It was the first stored program computer and it was able to operate over 1000 instructions per second. Unlike its predecessor the ENIAC, the instructions did not have to be input repeatedly to EDVAC. The second generation computers were based on transistors. They were more compact in size less expensive, and required less maintenance than the first generation computers made of vacuum tubes. In 1947, the first silicon transistor was invented at Bell Labs, and by 1954 the first transistorized digital computer was invented, the Tridic. It was composed of 700 transistors instead of vacuum tubes, and the machine was a mere 3 cubic feet. It only required 100 watts of power, which was 1 20th times less than the power required by a vacuum tube computer. Also it could perform 1 million operations per second. On the hardware side, the first memory device the random access magnetic core store, was introduced in 1951 by American engineer Jay Forrester. It is the information storage device employed in most digital computers. In other words, the beginnings of what is now known as RAM today. The first hard drive was introduced by IBM in 1957, it weighed one ton and could store five megabytes. In this era, assembly language and high-level programming languages like Fortran and COBOL were used. The computers used batch processing and multi-programming operating system. The third generation computers used integrated circuits in place of transistors. The integrated circuit is a series of transistors placed on a single chip. They consumed less power and required low maintenance compared to their predecessors. High level languages were used for programming and these computers marked the beginning of commercial production. In 1958, American electrical engineer Jack Kilby invented the integrated circuit or microchip. Placing all the transistors on a single chip significantly reduced the power and heat consumption of computers. Also with this invention computers became smaller, more powerful, more reliable, and they are able to run many different programs at the same time. 
The first internet called ARPANET, the experimental computer network that was the forerunner of the internet, was developed in 1969. In 1980 Microsoft Disk Operating System was born, and in 1981 IBM introduced the personal computer or PC for home and office use. As a result of the various improvements to the development of the computer, its uses grew rapidly and widely throughout the world, and today many types of computers are used in all areas of our life.